All right, what's going on guys? It is the TDG 2000 here. We are back with some more Batman. I keep on wanting to say Lego Batman because we've never played a Batman game before and we I played Lego Batman so many times. We had like 96 episodes of Lego Batman. Every single time I want to say Lego Batman, but it's Batman the Telltale series. Today we're playing episode 2 Children of Arkham. An old friend becomes a new adversary as Bruce learns more about the Wayne family legacy and Batman escalates the fight against crime and corruption throughout Gotham. Let's do it. Oops. Previously on Batman's Telltale series. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. This is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played here, couldn't you? Oh shit. It's a little cold in my basement. This game here is enough to the choices you make, the story is tailored by how you play. We already know how these Telltale games work. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. How could you hide this from me, Alfred? For all these years, what would you have me do? You were a child. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. 
My money has never corrupted me, and I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, that's a fair assumption. You don't think? You always said it was a simple money. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every word of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Gotta check absolutely everything, you know? He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. I love that movie. Saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me.
Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? There are considerable gaps in that recollection. Oh yeah, Broken Memories. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of episode 2. This is chapter 1. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it today. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys. Peace.